Hi, I'm John Townsend, and today we'll be making authentic 18th century pickled eggs. Thanks for joining us today on 18th Century Cooking. So a while back, we did a short series on food preservation, and this really goes right along with that. Uh, pickled eggs are a great way to preserve your eggs for the future. It's important to remember that food preservation techniques like this, well, if you do them improperly, it can be bad for you. Uh, you, can, you can be poisoned by it. So I really recommend storing these in the refrigerator when you're done with them. Pickling eggs is quite easy. This recipe comes from Charlotte Mason's 1778 cookbook, The Lady's Assistant. I'm starting with a dozen eggs. There are different ways to hard boil eggs. Uh, and for store-bought eggs like these eggs, the best way to get them hard boiled properly, I guess, would be to put these into cold water and allow that water to come up to boiling. As soon as it comes up to boiling, you take that pan off, you cover it, and leave it for 13 minutes. Fresh eggs, on the other hand, can be very difficult to peel once they're boiled. So probably the best way to boil these would be to get your uh, water boiling first, then put the eggs down into your boiling water, uh, let it return to a boil, and boil them for 15 minutes. So regardless of how you boil your eggs, uh, once they're done boiling, you need to cool them down quickly. So put them in a bath of cold water or even icy water. So before we get started, you are going to need a vessel, something to store your eggs in. I'm gonna be using one of our uh, large storage jars. I'll put a link down in the description section for these wonderful jars that we have made right here locally. Uh, if you want something simpler, something you've got, uh, a mason jar will work great for this. Next, we're going to need two cups of malt vinegar boiled. You could use uh, distilled vinegar or cider vinegar, but really I think malt vinegar is the best for this recipe. To our heated vinegar, we're going to add some black peppercorns, a few blades of mace, and some sweet herbs like uh, thyme and rosemary. So modern pickled eggs that you find today in the, at the grocery store, in the gel, deli or whatever, are usually magenta um, or very bright red, and that uh, coloring is usually accomplished with beet juice. But all the English recipes that we usually find the pickled eggs from in the 18th century, those are actually uh, made red with not beet juice, but cochineal. Cochineal was popular in the 18th century for dyeing food and other things. Uh, it is a, a Central American scale bug that grows on cactus plants. Um, while it was popular in the 18th century, it's still popular today, but it goes by a different name. They call it carmine. The cochineal is very easy to use. I took about a teaspoon of it, put it in my little mortar and pestle, and ground it up till it's a nice fine powder, and then put that into a little bit of cloth and wrapped it up. And this little bundle I'll put into our, uh, our mixture with the vinegar and let it steep. Now it's as simple as uh, loading up our jar with our uh, already boiled eggs. Now let's remove the, uh, the little sachet that has the cochineal in it. Uh, it really, it's steeped long enough to transfer that dye into the vinegar solution. And finally, we'll just pour this uh, warm vinegar solution right over the top of our eggs. We wanna make sure they come all the way up to the top, cover up the eggs, and we're gonna stir the eggs just a little bit. Um, she calls for this in the recipe so that the dye covers the eggs completely and gets an even coating. Now they're ready to store in the refrigerator. Uh, you should keep these for at least 10 days for them to complete their pickle, but they will stay good for months. Well, here are our pickled eggs and uh, they look great. You know, in the 18th century, these would have made a, a perfect garnish. Regardless, they would be spectacular on the table. There you go, look at that. We've got a very nice sort of mahogany color through the whole thing and the, uh, the yolk is colored and uh, nice and dark there. They are, they look spectacular. Let's see what they taste like. Hmm. Wow. Much better than I was expecting, much more mild, but with a nice little pickly flavor to them. 
So these turned out fantastic. They look great and they taste great. And they're really, they're so simple that you really need to try them. And thanks for watching. If you're new to our channel, I want to welcome you. Uh, you can subscribe by clicking the button right up here. Uh, also check out our related videos. Thanks so much for watching.